Oh, Luke, I think 15 years ago, perhaps even longer, I thought oh, I've had enough of exhibitions and art awards and that scene. I don't think it was a conscious thing, but I just came back to my studio and just do my own thing. Oh, in the early days, I used to exhibit everywhere, you know, in, in some good galleries because I won a few art awards early and that gives you a foundation or a platform to work from. So... Uh, I had the good galleries. Uh, perhaps a big event then was to go to America, so I exhibited there at Georgetown University and San Francisco. So I did all those sorts of things, but just lost interest in it. And just recently I decided to do this. Just a mercenary thing, really, just to see if I can sell a painting and pay the hospital benefits. <laughs> The, uh, yeah, the early work was had a stained glass influence, so it was a gothic sort of influence, so a lot of black sort of in my work. And perhaps that reflected how I was at that time too, you know, a bit sort of dark inside. But uh, since I've been doing my, what I call my relaxing meditation, which was a fairly defining moment in my life, the uh, and again, it hasn't been a conscious thing, but I think the art has evolved or changed with that. So now there's a, more of a lightness to it. It's a little more, like you said, a little more perhaps metaphysical, although it has a landscape base to it. So, but it has that surreal or dreamlike feel about it. Oh, I think they're all connected. So I think there's three aspects really of, of my life. There's my paintings. There's a relaxing meditation, which I do for people who are a little bit stressed out. And I also do workshops on that and then there are the writings which uh, are sort of a contemplative type prose and then that links into my painting because I sometimes associate drawings or paintings with some of my writings so they all sort of uh, link together one's not apart from the other uh, the writings are sort of I suppose you call them semi-philosophical a little bit, I sometimes say it's a sort of a new theology or a new mysticism, but a natural sort of mysticism. This sounds a little bit arrogant, but I really feel that the meditation that I do with people is really the way to peace of mind, which if I say to someone who comes to see me, you know, what are you looking for? They always say, oh, just to be happy, just to be at peace. And I suppose we all search for that. But what I'm doing is showing people a way where that can be attained by just sitting and allowing, allowing the mind just to rest or repose and regenerate itself. So there's a lot of nonsense about meditation. You know, people are trying to see the colour purple and those things will stress you out more than anything. But with the way I do it, it's just a very... Uh, it's physically, we let ourselves relax, feel that in the mind... As the body is calm, the mind is calm. And it's generally in this time of repose, in this very unique way of meditation, that a lot of the things that cause our stress seem to dissipate and then we find we cope better. So in a sense, I'm not teaching anything. I'm just showing people a way. If they can hang in and do it, well, they'll become their own physician. You know, they'll know when it's time to do or say what they have to do or say but sometimes we get stressed out we get on the booze or we eat half a dozen donuts and then that worries us we become obese or we get into trouble we violate you know all your problems come from that sort of thing mm. yeah that was uh oh i'm going back into the early 80s now but i used to put a painting in the blake award every year which was perhaps one of the most significant art prizes in Australia and one particular year there was a dissent between the five judges about who should win it so but anyway three voted for the other artist two for me but just in recent weeks someone who's writing a book on the Blake Art Award rang me and she's going to include my painting in it in the book 
because he thought I was done a little bit of an injustice because the main critic of the time voted in favour of my painting and she thought his weight should have taken her through. But anyway, that's how it goes.